Section 1 You are going to listen to two university students talking about libraries in Australia. First, look at questions 1 to 4. You will see that there is an example already done for you. For this question only, the conversation relating to the example will be played first. What's wrong, Yumi? You look very serious. Oh, hi, Mary Ann. I've just been given the assessment guide for law, my major, and there are lots of assignments. You'll be spending a lot of time in the library then. That's my problem. I don't know anything about libraries in Australia. Oh, don't worry about that, Yumi. Librarians here are really friendly, and most of them are extremely helpful. Yumi said she doesn't know anything about libraries in Australia. So B is the correct answer. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Now listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 4. What's wrong, Yumi? You look very serious. Oh, hi, Mary Ann. I've just been given the assessment guide for law, my major, and there are lots of assignments. You'll be spending a lot of time in the library then. That's my problem. I don't know anything about libraries in Australia. Oh, don't worry about that, Yumi. Librarians here are really friendly. And most of them are extremely helpful. That's good to hear. My flatmate said I should join the local library. Do you think that I need to? Well, I think it'd be a good idea. They probably won't have many law books in the library. But you'll be surprised at what they do have. Australian libraries are generally very well resourced. And hey, if nothing else, you can get free internet access. Is it easy for international students to join? Yes. Lee Yun has just joined. All you need is your student card or some other ID and an account or bill that has your Australian address on it. Like a phone bill or an electricity bill? Would that be okay? Yeah, that's all. It's very easy. They encourage people to join the library. And you can borrow lots of books as well as video and audio tapes or CDs. The newspaper is available too if you've got time to stay at the library and read it. Will it cost much to join the library? Joining libraries here doesn't cost anything, but you'll have to pay a fine if you return your books after the due date. It's about 10 cents per book per day. How long can I borrow books for? The loan period for books is about a month, but you can easily extend the time for another month if you want to. You can even do it over the phone. But it has to be arranged before the due date. What about the university library? Haven't you been there yet? No, not yet. I was sick for the orientation week and I missed out on the campus tour. Well, Yumi, I've got an hour before my next lecture. Why don't we walk up together and have a look around? Oh, that would be great, Mary Ann. I'd really appreciate it. Yumi and Mary Ann arrive at the main entrance to the university library. As you listen to the rest of the conversation, answer questions 5 to 10. Before the conversation continues, read questions 5 to 10. This is the main entrance. Let's go in. It's very big, isn't it? Yes, but here's a map which will help you. Can you see that it's a kind of L shape? Oh, yes. Is that the circulations desk in front of us? Yes. That's where all of the incoming and outgoing loans are registered. When you return a book, just put it in the large box over there. See its marked returns? Just to the right of the desk. Yes, I see. Can I use the computers behind the desk to access the Internet? Those computers are for the library's database search system only. There are computers in the IT block which we passed on our way here to the library. 
Anyway, you can search for a book by typing in the title, author, topic, or a keyword. Are the computers easy to use? Yes, very easy. Even I can use them. Does it give a catalog number after you do the search? Yes, it does. It'll also tell you in which section of the library to find the book. The library is divided into three sections. Straight ahead, behind the circulations desk, is the monograph collection. That just means you can borrow these materials for normal loans. Monograph collection? Yes. I see. The section behind the photocopiers is for all of the serial publications. That means journals and magazines and newspapers, of course. Mm -hmm. And the most important section for us is the reference section. You'll use it a lot. Unfortunately, the books in this section can't be borrowed. You have to use them in the library. It's over there, past the quiet study area. I see. So... Do I need to join or register here, or do I have automatic borrowing rights as a student? As long as you have your student card, you can borrow books from the monograph collection. Anyone else can access the rest of the library. What if I can't find a particular book? And that's what the staff are there for, Yumi. Just go to the advisor's desk, take a request card, and fill in the details of what you're looking for. Where's the advisor's desk? It's just over there, the desk at the entrance to the quiet study area. Right. Well, I think I'll have a look now to see if I can find any of the recommended texts for my first law assignment. Yes, good idea. Texts on the recommended list from the lecturers are very popular, and you should try to borrow them from the library as soon as you get your list. That is the end of Section 1. You now have half a minute to check your answers.